Doing all right? Yeah. Okay. What decisions that you made when you were teenagers that made you the person you are today? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, decisions when we were teenagers. I think there was an opportunity for me to make a left or a right in life, and that left could have uh, could have been a bad a bad street to go down. It was just the the choice of being disobedient and just really really going the complete opposite way from what my mother was telling me to do and not coming back. I had a choice to go with other family and not be in my house. And I chose to stick it out with my mom and get through the rough times. And I think that's what put me in the position I am today. You know, that's what gave me a different type of will and want to win. Jumanji. You pick a character and you're that person in the game. Which one do I pick? I don't think it matters that much. I don't like using the word perfect a lot, but you know, when you read this script, the idea of, of, of a nerdy kid who's incredibly insecure, who suffers greatly from allergies, mm -hmm. um, terrified of girls, Who's the opposite of that? And I and I think it wound up being like, oh, this is the perfect role. I would love to play this role. Then the idea of, okay, a gigantic football player who's this big badass, and he runs a school, and he's a captain of the football team, and all that's taken away from him, and he becomes a smaller version of that. Who's the per I mean, perfect casting is Kevin. Yeah. And then to be honest with you, the 16-year-old Bethany, who's <laughs> self-obsessed, <laughs> selfies all the time, you know, and, and, and very selfish, who can pull that off? I mean, really think about that. Like, there's great actors in Hollywood who can pull that off. But the perfect actor who goes from this beautiful, self-obsessed girl to this curvy, ah, ah, you know, genius man, it's, genius. it's perfect. Oh, perfect. <laughs> so, to answer your question, we all read it and was like, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Love it. Are you going to help or are you too pretty? I'm too pretty. When you're on some of these locations, it's impossible not to be happy and enjoy yourself because it's just so incredible and uh, you know also we, we we all built a great friendship you know and, and um, found a way to, to, to really enjoy our time on set together. What about like adventures? Did you have like uh, some I interactions some, with animals maybe? I did some hikes, some really uh -huh. adventurous hikes uh, that were probably a little too ambitious at times, scaling walls and waterfalls and stuff. Uh, I think if the production found out that I was doing that, they would have been mad at me, but um, I did it anyway. You know, we're in the shot in the middle of the jungle here in Hawaii, and he hates critters and creepy crawly things, and uh, no, but he, like everybody doesn't like them, <laughs> but he terrified <laughs> I don't like them. So anytime we had a chance to mess with him, scare the hell out of him, beautiful day. Camera shut. Stop this, stop! <laughs> I didn't believe you. What type of persons have you been in school? Maybe like, you know, popular guys or... Popular. Popular? Yeah. Well, I don't know you were. <laughs> you, you were homeschooled, so I don't know how that works. So you were the coolest kid ever. The most popular zoologist? That's actually a picture of me in my school and popular kids everywhere. You just said popular kids, just, just popular, one. Yeah, just, just one. Big picture. I was more uh, like jockish mm -hmm. athlete, you know, like. <laughs> I was. I was like the. No, that was that guy. I was, I was popular in the theater crowd. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But as soon as I left well, the theater. All the with girls were in theater. I, mean, I know. That was good. It was That's a good smart. thing. It was good. I knew what I was doing. But as soon as I left the theater, all my superpowers kind of drained away. So I tried to stay in the theater as much as possible. Much as possible. That was my. That was where I was at my best. Bethany. Oh, Wait, Bethany! Don't look at it. No! I'm an overweight middle-aged man. Well, I don't have my Claritin, and all I see around here is pollen. Well, I don't have a top two feet of my body. Damn, that is a man right there. Don't cry. Don't cry. Cry, it's gonna be okay. And you know, it's a lot about school problems as well. And what advice do you give to your kid, to your kids when they come to you, like you know, with school problems, with like difficulties? Like, what is the best advice you can give? I was a bad student, so I don't know I, how how good I am at giving advice. But uh, just try to find the thing that's interesting in the studies. You know, I I, I thrived in in the in the creative aspects of school. So, I mean, my advice is really more towards schools, is like, get the arts programs going, because 
I learned more from the arts than I did from any kind of history books or, or, or any of the, the usual like traditional forms of teaching. I think communication. That's the biggest lesson that I that I think I passed down to my kids is understanding the importance of communication and talking. You know, problems are only problems when you hold them in. The more you talk, the more you open up and yeah. communicate, the more you put yourself in a position to be helped. So make sure that you're always talking to me so mm -hmm. I can so I can be in the know and not in the not know. In the movie, uh, characters go through a lot of stuff, and some of some of it is like ridiculous. And what was the last time you found yourself like in a weird, ridiculous situation you have to get yourself out? Uh, all the time. I don't know. Somehow I end up in ridiculous situations all the time. But uh, I was coming back from actually Las Vegas one time. I was driving back with some friends, and uh, we were in the middle of this parking lot, and I think there was some shady stuff going on, police helicopters and other stuff, and we said we got to get out of here. And somehow we couldn't find our way out of the parking lot. Uh, so we just ended up doing circles in the parking lot. And finally we got out, but it was a bit of a scary situation. Talking about, like, um, again, about the actors and your partners on set, who, like, did you had the most fun with and who did you became friends with in the end? Jack and I became close friends. Uh, you know, he, he's the best. And, and we would venture away on, on the weekends and, and, you know, get some great food and just hang out, talk about life and, you know, movies and music we love. And, just a really good dude. And in the movie, you're, um, you're occupied in somebody else's bodies. And if you could choose anybody, what, which, which one would you choose to occupy for a day? I'm going to go with Nadia Comaneci. Uh -huh. Just to wow. know what it was like to do those flips on the high beams. Uh -huh. okay. Well, I love sports. I'm a big mm -hmm. golf fan. It's a very tough game. So if I, if I was to have someone else's body for a day, it'd probably be Jordan Spieth. Mm -hmm to be able to play golf like him. That and maybe Dwayne Johnson. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, pretty strong guy. It'd be fun to throw some weight around like that. What is your favorite thing to do on Friday? Oh, favorite thing to do on Friday? Uh, dance. Really? Yeah, Fridays, I just Some music, up. or? Yeah, I just get up and dance, just man. Dance. This is Friday. Oh, Friday. <laughs> hey. Just, yeah, about, about <laughs> six hours, I do it. Uh, <clears throat> I like it, uh, jump in the pool at night. Oh. You can stay up late on Friday. There's, a, there's no school the next day. I gotta take a night swim. Okay. Well, you know what I like to do though? I like to fire up the jacuzzi, okay. maximum heat, and not heat up the pool. Okay. Polar bear plunge back and forth. Okay. Oh. I like it. This wow. is Russian style, by the like way. It. You ever do it? Yeah, we do it like in Feels the winter. Fantastic. We do like in the snow, oh. and now then we go to far. the bunny. Yeah. That's oh. crazy. It's the best. In the snow. Yeah. Okay. Good immune uh, system. <laughs> I like to get drunk. 